Okay, here we go again. I've got two short videos I made of Cahoon, uh, Lake Cahoon in uh, Suffolk, Virginia uh, a couple weeks ago. I've just downloaded HumViewer software, and this is super, super neat, and I think you'll enjoy this. Uh, still learning it, but what's nice is that we can look at the side imaging over here on the right, and at the same time, it's going to display my 2D downward-looking sonar here. And what we have at the bottom here is the track that I took with my boat, which ties in with Google Earth, which I'll show you here in a little bit. But this is super neat. We can see the time of the day, the depth of the water under the boat, and how fast I was going, and my, uh, my heading. So obviously I'm heading pretty much due west here at 269. So we can play this one. I'm starting out in about 13 feet of water. Um, let's do this. I'll stop it right here, and we'll go to uh, Tools and show this in Google Earth so you can see exactly where I am on Cahoon. So we're going to zoom in. This is do this is all doing it automatically here, not doing anything. And here we go. I'm going to zoom it out a little bit. You can see the boat ramp is right here at Cahoon. My track I posted a few weeks ago was in this area. So now obviously I'm starting right here and I'm going to track all the way into the back up into the shallows here. Um, if we scroll over, you can see the bridge and the railroad trestle is right here. So that's that's what we're going to be looking at at Lake Cahoon today. So let's close that out. Let's go back, and here we are playing it. Um, just not a whole lot here. I'm in shallower water. You can see there's plenty of logs along the bottom. Uh, nothing real exciting to look at. Just amazing. Well, here we go. I'll stop it right here and you can see the channels to my right and it's making an elbow bend here with plenty of logs. The bottom's pretty level, I'm in 18 feet of water. So we keep going. Uh, once again the channel's off to my right. Uh, we're just looking. I see this a lot at uh, Western Branch. There's like giant holes in the bottom, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, here we go, we're getting shallower here, and when I stop it, you can see I'm only in about five feet of water. That's why it's real skinny under the boat here. Going over a little point, I think. And now the water's starting to drop back off, and here we go, and I'm back into 20 feet of water. Uh, not a lot going on. Here we go, right here, I'll stop it. I crossed over the channel. Right here, you can see I went over the channel, and that's what this area is. You can see a few trees laying across the channel. And here's where I'm at on my track. So we keep going. Just cruising along in about 14 feet of water. It's getting a little deeper now. Uh, I'll just stop it here. You can see there's a tree along the bottom here. Some trees off to the left. Um, you can see what it looks like with the downward. And I can adjust the speed that I'm playing this in. And just lots, lots of logs. Like I said, everywhere you go on this lake, you see logs on the bottom. And cruising along and here we go I'll stop it right here you got the channel off to the left with lots of uh, structure in it so I'll play it once again and I'm starting to skirt along the edge of the channel and here we go I'm kinda coming close to a shelf here you can see what looks like you can tell there's structure here there's all sorts of logs uh, laying all over the place so here we go just cruising along again uh, there's a big pile of logs right in this area. Um, looks like I'm heading off into the deeper water now. Yep, there we go. I went over the channel again. I'm in 21 feet now. You can see it went down about 26, and here's the channel. Play it again. We should be starting to head into some shallower water. And like I said, there's nothing but structure on the bottom of this lake. Probably too much structure, because the crappie can be spread out everywhere. And there we go, I'm at the end of my track here. I'm still in 21 feet of water, but there you have it. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, i got one more I'm going to post in a little bit later.